Right now, this storm looks like it's going to be headed for millions of people. It's going to be a transitioning system, meaning that perfect storm type scenario. We just got the 11 o'clock advisory. It was a category three major hurricane overnight. I'm gonna say couple videos man first of all i appreciate you for tuning in we've been talking about brushes and the best techniques to use in brushes and the best way to find the best brush for you now i'm going to shift gears a little bit and i'm going to bring you a revolutionary method and i think i'm going to be the first one to do it for waves in the wave game this method been out for a while now. If you check around the natural health pages, you might see it. But I'm going to call it the Clay and Lay. Shout out to my boy CJ Monsoon. He the one that put me on to this. If you've been on the wave pages, that's why I be telling y'all, man, y'all got to get to the pages, man. If you've been on the wave pages, I already know you've been seeing this going around. It's the new little fad that's going around on the wave pages, bit tonight, Clay. But uh, I'm going to give you the technique that I've learned, the recipe that I have to make my clay. And this is going to be for the hair and the face. <laughs> I know y'all see how crazy my hair is looking. I did this on purpose because I did this a couple times already and the results are that amazing that I had to come and give y'all a curl to waves video, man. Y'all already know what it is, man. I want to show you how you can go from your hair not being nowhere near laid into the exact opposite. We're going to have this thing paper smooth, man. I'm telling you. By the time we get done with this, if you like the washing style, if you like the hat man, if you like my deep conditioning videos, which I know y'all do because those are my most watched videos, this method is like all three of those videos put together in one video. Now, so this is going to be a little bit more for my advanced waivers. Shout out to all my beginning waivers that's watching this. Y'all can do this also. But let's get into this video. Clay has been used for thousands of years for its healing benefits. In today's video, I'll be going over how it can promote your hair and your skin health. The first reason clay is so beneficial because it absorbs the toxins and microorganisms that's in your body. If you have been exposed to any type of bad bacteria, heavy metal, or something that shouldn't be in your body, the clay takes and binds to those things. So the first benefit is it really supports healthy detoxification of your body. The second benefit is it's anti-inflammatory, which makes it really good for your skin. Your wives and your girlfriends been going to the spa for years getting the mud mask, so it's time that we catch up. And if you got eczema or acne, and it's, it's also good for those type of things and supporting anti-aging for your skin for all my older gentlemen and ladies that's out there watching. <laughs> also, ladies, it's great for removing those harsh chemicals left from makeup. Some of those toxins can get into your system over time, increasing the risk for different diseases. So it's really great for detoxifying your skin. If you want to do some more research, you can and find out the other benefits. There are other benefits that come with the clay. You can use this for anything in your body pretty much.
play, we back from making the clay, as you can see, man. It take a little minute to make that stuff, man. You gotta put it, gotta be, know how to, know, gotta know how to whip their ribs. You gotta go out of the end of it. Hey, whip it, whip it. Hey. <laughs> anyway, man, on to the next step. It's time to tame this crazy, crazy hell. And I'm telling you, man, my hair was so laid. And the reason I did this because I wanted to come and show y'all how it get rid of the frizz. The frizz is gonna be the, the way it tames your frizz in your hair is gonna be crazy. Um, I feel like I can go, I can walk for 12, 13, 14 weeks with this new method, man. I'm telling you. So I just wanted to come and show y'all how you can just go from crazy hell. I slept with no do-rag on purpose. And when I woke up, my hair wasn't really out of place like that. So the first thing I did was, when I woke up and went in the mirror, I just did just like this and just went everything against the grain. So that's what's happening right now, man. Been like this all day. <laughs> and then I went out to, uh, Beauty supply, and I saw somebody who say he watching my videos. I ain't catch his name. Shout out to you if you're watching the video right now. But uh, anyways, man, first thing you already know what the first thing you gotta do. You gotta grab your comb, grab a comb, comb your hair down. That's the first thing we're gonna do. Got you a nice comb and brush session in to get your foundation pretty much back. I'm going to go ahead and get into any type of wash method that you want to do. You don't really have to do a wash because the mud is going to do all the cleaning for you. But what I like to do is go ahead and get my hair pretty much laid down before I start to even do this method. That way it's like an extra lay down. So I'm pretty much going to do the washing style. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna put my do-rag on, but I'm not gonna let it dry. As soon as I put my do-rag, I'm gonna put my do-rag on, wash the shampoo out, and then I'm gonna jump out and I'm going to start this clay and lay. <laughs> uh, what you're gonna need for the clay and lay, get you some hard brushes. I'm gonna be using the two Diane brushes for this right here, the Diane 8159. And the Diane 8158. When choosing the right brush for you, you want to make sure that the brush is not too hard for your scalp. Like I see, you can see, I got a lot of hair. My hair is thick, so I need harder brushes that have more pull on them. Also, you're going to need a water bottle because you want to keep this clay wet. You don't want to let it dry before you get done. I'm going to put it on our hair first, then I'm going to put it on my face. Then I'm gonna wipe my face first. You're gonna need a mirror. Of course, you're always gonna need your mirror. And the brushes that you use, make sure you, those are brushes that you don't mind getting dirty, muddy, because they're gonna get dirt and mud in them. That's what we put in our hair. We put mud in our hair, basically. There's clay, a clay mud mask <laughs> for our hair and for our skin. So, for the shampoo today, I'm gonna to be using Maui Moisture. It's a new product that I picked up on sale. And it's a really, really, really awesome product. So far, it says made with 100% aloe juice as the first ingredient. So if you look right here, you probably can't see that, but it has a list of different, different things. So no mineral oil, no silicones, 
no parabens, no gluten, no SLS, no sulfated sulfurcantins. <laughs> No synthetic diet, no ales. Yes, it's vegan. Yes, it's eco friendly. Yes, it's pure coconut water. Yes, it's pure aloe juice. So, all their different shampoos are the say the same thing on it. This one right here is vanilla bean. If you ever brought one of Rico remixes in the cake batter, uh, it smells just like that right there. I'm gonna go ahead and get into this wash and I'll be back with y'all. Hipstrumentals.com jump in the shower real quick and then I'll be back with y'all. All right, I'm back. Fresh out the shower from the washing style. All I did was put my do-rag on, get in the shower, rinse it out. The same thing you're gonna do when you put the clay in there. We're basically gonna be doing the same exact thing with the clay, but it's an extra step in there. So, got that off. Now, to the clay. If your clay's gotten a little stiff, just go ahead and stir it up real quick. And then loosen it back up. Also, you got your spray bottle too. Let's get start putting this stuff in. <laughs> At first glance, it's probably a kind of remind you of the Dookie method. <laughs> But I guarantee you, this is not. brush for a while then I'm gonna put it on my face and then I'm gonna put my wave cap on now that I got it in my hair 
and I brushed it in. I'm gonna put it on my face now. Make sure you avoid putting it too close to your eyes. You don't wanna get it too close to your eyes because it'll irritate your eyes and you'll be getting it off there real quick. So fellas, yeah, man, I just was thinking, man, if you want to treat your lady to a home spa, huh? You can get her up, just cut you out a couple cucumbers, you know, make up your mask, put whatever oil she like in there, you know, get a nice little scent in there, you know, you know, treat her, treat her, trick her, trick her. <laughs> Anyways, man. I'm gonna let this sit on here for a little bit longer and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do the lay part to the clay and lay. I'm gonna let this sit on my face probably like uh, 10 more minutes. I'll be back though. All right, I'm back. I let the clay dry on my face. It's about time for that to come off. While I was on break, I added the deep conditioning cap to my hair to get that full effect as you can see you're always giving off heat man go ahead and take this off and I'm gonna wash my face off then I'm gonna do the lay we're down to the last step of the clay and lay and that is the lay part the first step of that is grabbing you a wave cap. Make sure it's like a thin wave cap, one that you're not going to be using too much. Uh, just put it on your head. clay on your head is probably going to be dry. That's where the water bottle comes in. If you, had, if you got your water bottle, grab that right now. If you don't, go grab one right now. <laughs> but all I'm going to do is wet my hair back. Once you're done with your actual lay part, 
all we gotta do now is rinse this out. I gotta jump in the shower to do this. As you can see, it's a lot of mud, a lot of clay, dirt, whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> no, it's clay though. <laughs> gotta rinse the, get in the shower to rinse the clay out. Once you get done rinsing your clay out, do not take your do-rag off. All you're gonna do is place another do-rag on top of it. That way, you get that double compression. So I'm gonna jump back in the shower real quick and rinse this off. And when I come back, we'll wrap up the video. All right, I'm back. As you can see, I got all the mud out of my hair. Got some little hair sticking out of my wave cap. All I did was pat dry my hair as much as possible. Now I'm just gonna put on another layer of compression. And I'm gonna call it a night. That's it, man. That's gonna wrap up this video, man. If y'all had any questions about bentonite clay or any of the oils that I used or anything, always you can always leave it down in the comments. You can hit me up on Facebook, hit me up on Instagram, you can hit me up on Twitter. I don't care what you hit me up on, man. I'm here to help y'all, you know. Make sure y'all like the video. I know y'all like this video, man. I'ma come back in the morning and show y'all the results. Like, comment, and subscribe, man. Y'all see your boy been going hard lately. Appreciate everybody for taking the time to watch. I know the clay in late is going to change the way that waving, change the way that you're doing your thing, man. I'm telling you, this right here finna extend so many wolves out there, man. Whew. It take a little minute to do, but boy. It's worth every penny, I'm telling you. I'm gonna come back at y'all early in the morning when I wake up, let y'all see the results after this thing dry. But until then, man, y'all already know, man, y'all got to hold it down for your boy. And if you ain't got your none, you better grab a person and get you something, huh? See y'all later.